Good morning, creative stampers. How are you? Day number six on a card a day in the month of May. <laughs> um, did you know that you do not have to follow a card sketch exactly? A card sketch is just a jumping off point. I want to show you today how to take a card sketch and switch the orientation. I thought that might be helpful for you guys. Um, I don't want to take too long today on this card. I kind of ramble on sometimes. I'm trying to get a little more uh, concise and everything. But I do like to give a little time for people to see that I am live and to get on here before I get started. As a matter of fact, there's Kim. Good morning, Kim. How are you? Um, today, we I'm going to talk about how to switch the orientation of a card sketch. So we're going to do that today. And um, of course, we're going to be using a retiring stamp set. So today's retiring stamp set is Animal Outings. There we go. It comes with, or it has a coordinating die, which has some really cute pieces. Let me pull it up a little closer, but um, whoop. this cuts out a leaf thing on like a the large piece of cardstock, it would uh, punch that out, and this would give you like a giraffe pattern um, that you could put on there. Hey, and good morning, Dorothy. How are you? We're using Animal Outing today. All right, let me switch you down to my view. Here we go. Um, don't forget, this is uh, is only available till the end of May. So Animal Outing, and it does have, I always have to tilt so the glare's not there. Animal Outing, and it does have a coordinating die set. All right, sketchbook. Um, this is a sketchbook that I put together and I sell um, on my blog uh, for $4.95, and we are gonna be on sketch number 27 today. So let me pull this up to number 27. Having um, sketches is, makes card making so easy. Um, I was going through, uh, you know, I wanted to use that stamp set, so I was going through all these sketches and I thought, oh, I could put the little animal faces on these three circles here. Okay, so that is what we're going to do, except I didn't, I want to switch it. I want to make it tall because I do have a giraffe. Now, I'm going to move this out of the way or just move it well, switch sides. There we go, now we can see it. All right, so there's the card sketch down in the corner there and our scratch paper. Now, I did some pre-work so that um, it wouldn't take us that long to make. And first of all, this is, I picked this uh, pineapple punch because it went with this designer paper. This designer paper comes from our dinosaur Sweet, the dino suite, it is retiring also, or the dino stamp set's not, but the paper is. Uh, but I thought it was cute paper for this stamp set. The paper that originally went this stamp set retired last year, so, but we still have the stamp set. So with that said, let me move that out of the way, move all this out of the way, we don't need that right now. Um, have you all, do you all know we sell watercolor pencils? Now these are not, regular colored pencils, these are watercolor pencils. In other words, if I uh, get water on them, they're going to spread out like watercolor does. Um, regular colored pencils have a wax in them, so they water doesn't affect them like that. You need to have a, a different kind of solvent to make those blend. But these are actual watercolor pencils, I love them. So, but because I'm gonna use the watercolor pencils, I need to use the stays on ink to stamp my images. And I went ahead and did that, and I have the little rhino, and I have the cute little giraffe here. Now, I need my watercolor brush. I need some colors. We're gonna color our giraffe yellow and brown, of course. And our dino will make gray. There we go, basic gray. Our little bird, let's make him blue. All right, make it blue, bright blue. I think that's all I need, yes. All right, so then I just, I quickly color. Oh, I can never remember, is it brown spots? Yeah, all right. So a yellow giraffe with brown spots. And I, you don't even have to color very carefully because you're gonna be using the aqua painter to blend it. Now you can use the blender brush also, or the blender pen also. We have one of those and that, 
that works just as well, but I like using the Aqua Painter also. And I just wanted to show you all how this works. Now, you don't want very much water because I'm not using watercolor paper. I'm just using regular card, um, our regular Whisper White cardstock. So I don't want very much um, color at all. Now this, what I'm doing, because I, I don't want my Rhino to be real dark, I'm just putting gray color where the shadowing is on, whoops, um, on the stamp. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. All right, I got all that, and then my little bird. Okay, and he needs a little yellow beak. There we go. All right, now, here's my aqua painter. Now, if you squeeze it, water's going to come out. I don't want very much water, so I'm going to pinch my brush so I don't have very much water. And you just very lightly, hardly even any touch, go through here. And you can see, and I'll bring it up closer to the camera in just a sec. See if I can zoom in any. I don't think so. No, not while it's, not while it's in play. I'd have to switch the screens and I don't want to do that yet. All right, do I have any comments from you guys? Uh, pretty yellow, yes, yes, Daffodil Delight. One of our favorites. Okay, and the water is starting to come out of the brush a little bit more than I want. So, hold on, let me grab a paper towel. Ugh. There we go. So I'm just going to wipe it up a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to paint the brown spots. There we go. All right, he's done. And now for our rhino. Just real quick, I'm just, the water just activates that watercolor pencil. And like I said, you don't want very much water because you're using cardstock instead of watercolor paper. All right, that's cute. And my wee baby bird. And his little beak. Okay, so that was it. That's all there is, just that coloring. Okay, let's put our card together. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. All right, I need a uh, bone folder here. My card is not staying flat. There we go. All right, look at my, uh, the card orientation is horizontal, the way I have it in the sketchbook. But we're going to do it vertical. And this is just real simple. I mean, obviously, I mean, all I'm doing is turning it. Um, but some people just get a little flustered. They're like, oh, I, I like that idea, but I don't, it won't work going horizontal. It needs to be vertical. All right. And so, and this paper here doesn't have an orientation. It goes in all, all the leaves go in all the different directions. So, all right, there's my background paper. Then I have this strip and I'm not going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this way. I also like for my strips to go from the edge to the edge. So it looks like it's ribbon that's been wrapped around. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And just put that there. Okay. So the pineapple punch came from that uh, triangle right there. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and it is the pineapple punch and the lovely lipstick. These colors were in the designer paper, but these cardstocks colors are retiring at the end of May. These are in colors that retire. All right, so here I have my three little circles here. Oh, and I stamped thanks big, thank you big time on this um, circle here. All right, let's put these on here. And uh, these circles are just circle punch. It's the two inch punch and the starburst, starburst punch. One more. There we go. Okay. 
Now to orient these. Oh, I also want to trim that off the bottom there. Let me get the snips real quick. There we go. Okay. So now I've got my three circles. Thank you big time. The big old rhino. And now I'm putting, obviously, I'm putting a uh, Gosh, I'm trying to blank giraffe at the top so that it kind of looks like she's as long as the, the pages here. So, and we can move that over a little or we can just keep it there. So I'm trying to, yeah. That looks pretty good. What do you think? You like that? I like that. So now my giraffe is straight. Uh, I have a tall card for a tall giraffe. I like it. Okay, let's... Uh, put these down then that way. And I'm gonna put these two flat, but I'll pop the rhino up on the dimensionals. So. And I kind of twisted that to the side so that the rhino, yeah, could cover up more. Oh, I'm putting that on the dimensionals, hold on. But I wanna make sure I get it, the giraffe put in the right place. I'll go there, there, there. That'll work. Okay. We're almost done. Just some dimensionals and it's done. <laughs> so today's was a fun card. Day number six. Card sketches, um, like I said, you can just twist them. You don't have to be the way that they are originally done. They're just uh, to get your imagination going. There we go. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty simple, huh? Thank you big time. All right, I like that, that's good. And, okay. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I am sending out my newsletter today. There's a reminder. So today is May the 6th. And today, for those of you who have already signed up for my card class by mail, Dorothy, I know you have, um, my newsletter today gives all the information again. Today is the last day, though, to sign up for it because I need to order the material and get it out to you all. Um, so be looking for that. Um, I can't think of anything else. Let me look at my notes. Uh, watercolor pencils stay. Yeah, make sure when you're doing watercolor that you use stays on ink. Um if you all have any card tutorial requests, let me know. Um, Dorothy, I'm still looking into the the what you mentioned yesterday. Um, what was that again? Drywall tape, I think. Anyways, I'll I'll look back at yesterday's comments and and get that. Um, but if there are any other card tutorials, just give me some comments. Especially you guys watching this on the YouTube. I'm also uploading these to the YouTube. They're Facebook Lives right now. And the last thing is the newsletter. It's going out today. If you have not subscribed to it, uh, there is a link in the description. Okay, I can't think of anything else. You all have an awesome day. Bye-bye. <laughs>